store vision with such precision. Um, my last presentation, I think some of these people were in the audience, uh, and uh, it says, the farsightedness support group mixer. Notice they all have name tags. Uh, I'm wearing my name tag. It's actually part of the requirement uh, for being in the uh, St. Anthony's Hospital. Uh, so I love it. Now, what I'd like to have is everybody in this room do something memorable. Be something that's memorable to somebody. You all have had uh, uh, long lives and uh, productive lives. And it's not over yet, so we want to keep you going, and we want to keep you healthy, and we want to provide vitality. Restoring vision and preventing blindness is our Fardyce Center mission, and it's our goal. A lot's changed in 30 years, and I think the slide says it best. Um, our lives have changed, our health has changed, our electronics have changed, certainly our surgery has changed. And what has been one of the motives behind it? Our patients demand 2020 vision. Well, actually, they demanded 2020 vision when I came in 1980. Now they demand better than 2020 vision without glasses. And uh, we try to uh, achieve that. And in fact, I'd like to just introduce Vince. Uh, Vince is the administrator from the St. Anthony's Surgery Center down the street. And uh, Vince leads his uh, team of doctors and nurses to provide that care. And, and Vince, I thank you for that. Now, Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff uh, was born and raised here. Um, I've had the uh, pleasure of being uh, Fred McGriff's doctor for 15 years. Um, I've also had the pleasure of being the Miss Florida pageant eye doctor for years. <laughs> Sorry, somebody's got to do it. And, uh, um, and if you just think that we stood together and posed for three seconds and it wasn't my animal magnetism, let me show you. It still wasn't my animal magnetism, but um, she got LASIK and uh, she had Coke bottle glasses and could not see without her contacts and she was having red eyes and irritated eyes because of her contact lens problems and she couldn't compete with itchy, runny eyes. So we did her LASIK and she's better than 2020. Mm -hmm. Now, what else does this represent? Well, this represents the cartoon captures eagle vision, eagle eye vision, and um, people want to see 93 million miles to the sun and they want to be able to read their computer and cell phone without glasses. But I can attest to the fact when you turn 40, you get old sightedness and things change. <laughs> Do you agree? Things yeah. change. There was a heck yeah. Now, I'm a baby boomer. Most of the people in the audience today are baby boomers. What do baby boomers want? Same thing everybody wants. They want to feel young and look young. They want to see young. They want to mm -hmm. have their vitality. They want to have mental health, physical health, and sexual health. They don't want glasses, but they're willing to take a pill. Uh, mm -hmm. And our lens implants are part of their requirement. Now, forgive me, I almost feel like apologizing, but it's a cartoon. I didn't write it, it's not my attitude, but it's a doctor talking to a patient and it says, excuse me, but when you've got a wall full of diplomas behind your chair, then your opinion will matter. It's a little uh, undiplomatic, maybe politically incorrect, because we expect your input. And there's a thing in our practice, our office in medicine called informed consent. My job is to try to find out what's wrong and tell you how we can fix it. And your job, quite frankly, is to help us when you know the facts and the risk and the, the options available. Um, I love my job. I guess, I guess I'm the toothbrush in this picture. I love my job and every day I am honored and privileged and lucky to get hugged and kissed for restoring vision. And sometimes it's even the women. <laughs> um, let me ask you, 
If you looked at me, look into my eyes. Is one of my eyes blind? No. I can't. 